how many people think that acting is easy, or believe, <coughs> they believe that a person can um, get up and deliver a realistic performance on the spot? Okay, two people. Um, has anyone ever thought of acting as a science? Nobody. Okay, well, um, a Russian by the name of Konstantin Stanislavski was a firm believer in um, approaching a role from a scientific method. Um, he had filled notebooks um, full of various techniques and reflections and observations um, from his own studies in the acting industry. Um, and he put them all together and uh, created what is known as the system, which is a method of acting practiced and revered by many actors to this day. Um, the system can be broken up into two parts in regard to its relevance to today's actors. Um, the first part being the history of the creation of the system, and then secondly, what the system is and is not. Um, the system was created during a time of realism, which means that the public wanted to see plays that um, portrayed life as we know it. They didn't want to come and see some sort of spectacle. They wanted a realistic performance. Um, but fortunately for us, um, Stanislavski was not a natural actor, and so his awkwardness motivated him to study um, his fellow actors that he perceived were, you know, very good, and record his findings and results from his experiments um, in a systematic way. And then these discoveries led to the creation of the system and is now taught by various institutes all over the world. We even teach um, our actors here at Liberty from some of Stanislavski's principles. Um, now that I've discussed the history of the system, I can now move on to the system itself and what it is. <clears throat> the system was created for actor training and was aimed at finding the actor, the inner truth in the character. Um, it was comprised of ten basic ingredients which included relationship, objective, obstacle, strategy, tactics, subtext, text, inner monologue, evaluation, and beats. Um, and each ingredient is crucial in creating a, um, a believable character. And it also helps with the actor's relationship to the other characters and the plot of the play. Um, here, I, I listened to a lecture by Chris Nelson, one of the department, uh, the, uh, one of the faculty members in the theater department here. And he broke the purpose of the system down to three propositions. The first being truth, is we want to believe, we want to achieve um, something on stage that resembles a actual human being, not just a, uh, a character that jumps off from, you know, words on a page. Um, so you want to have natural actions and reactions, and the, this proposition breaks up into three subpoints. Um, the first being one must be physically free and, control of it, and in control of his body. Um, and he said to be relaxed, be, be alert, and be attentive to the other characters and their surroundings and the text. Um, the second proposition is believing in the reality of one's character. Um, one must identify, respect, and understand the character's reality, and then finally listening and observing um, plays a major role in successfully portraying a character truthfully. The second proposition um, is when an actor achieves proposition one, he achieves honest action. Um, and so the second states that physical action leads to emotion. And then finally, um, the actor's metamorphosis and or culmination or the change of the completion of the actor's work is what brings the actor's performance together. Um, so the, the system is not to be confused with the method, which was created by Lee Strasberg. Um, the method was derived from Stanislavski's system but it's only a tiny fraction of what Stanislavski taught to his students. Um, so five myths that surround the system uh, that correlate with the teachings of the method are truth is what it's all about. There is not any need for technical work. There's no need to develop a characterization. Um, use all of your memories and feelings on stage. Forget about the audience um, and wait until you feel like you're supposed to do something. Um, that's what the method often teaches its actors to do, and some, I mean, it's, it's a, among debate against, uh, through, amongst um, 
various actors because um, there are a lot of Methodist method actors still um, work in the acting industry today, such as Jane Fonda or Robert De Niro or Alec Baldwin, and they're all very successful actors, and you know, and people go and they praise their their performance, but um, again, they don't all they don't follow most of what Stanislavski taught. Um, so Stanislavski revolutionized the world of theater in the 19th century by creating the only known system of acting. His system involves a, an incredible amount of work that in the end creates successful characters. There are no shortcuts in the system, but the lack of shortcuts help the actor develop a better understanding of the character and his motives, which is why Stanislavski's methods are still used today. Other systems have been devised since its creation in the 1800s, but the successful methods are still influenced by the original system that started it all. And so the next time you find yourself thinking that acting is easy, remember the system and the hours that actors put into dedicating time and research into creating a successful role.